What's up, punks? Welcome to vlog number four. Sorry for the delay between vlogs three and four, but life gets in the way sometimes and my editing skills are not great, so it takes me a little while to edit these things. So we're here now with vlog number four. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That way it helps out the channel a lot. Maybe I'll be able to get these things out a little quicker if I have a little bit more motivation by more subscribers. Anyway, this is a session that we played at Parks Casino a couple weeks ago. Pretty swingy session, so you'll have to wait till the end to see if we come out on top. But I think there's a lot of interesting hands in this one. So let's get to them. All right, so this is the second hand that we are dealt into this table. We just sat down and we looked down at the best hand possible. We have pocket aces in the small blind. Player in middle position raises 15. Cut off just calls. And 15 is not enough for me with this hand. So I raised to 65, both the middle position and the cutoff call. So with 195 in the pot, we go to a flop. Flop comes, jack of hearts, four of diamonds, two of hearts. So this is a good flop and a bad flop for me. The, the heart draw worries me, but I should still have the best hand because nobody played back. So there shouldn't be pocket jacks out there. Really only, you know, pocket fours, pocket twos. And if that's the case, we're going to end up being on the wrong end of a big pot. So I lead out for $85 and both players fold immediately. So we're off to a good start. The next hand of note that we have is ace king offsuit. We're in the small blind again and there is an under the gun straddle to 10. It folds around to us and we make it 35. The big blind folds and the under the gun straddler calls the 35. So with $70 in the pot, we go to a flop of 884 and I check for pot control. Not loving this flop. It doesn't really hit my range very well. And with the undergun player being a straddler, he has an uncapped range, so he could have anything here. So it checks through and the turn is a five of diamonds. So I check again because this really didn't approve me and I'm looking to get it to a showdown cheap, but under the gun has other ideas and bets out 20. So I think I have too strong a hand to fold for just $20, so I call. And with 110 in the pot, we go to a river, which is the four of hearts. So now the board's double paired, and I'm really just hoping that it'll check through and the ace high is good. So I check, and under the gun thinks differently, and bets out for 145. At this point, I really just have a bluff catcher and not a good one at that. So I just decide to fold and move along. Okay, so with this next hand, we are under the gun plus two, it folds to us. We have jack 10 offsuit. We decide to limp to mix it up, balance our range a little bit. Middle position, hijack, small blind, big blind, all just limp. We're in the pot for $25, and the flop comes. Deuce of clubs, deuce of diamonds, king of clubs. I check after it's checked to me, everybody checks behind me. Queen of spades comes off on the turn. So when it checks to me, I bet 15 here with my open ender. Hijack and the big blind both call. So with $70 in the pot, we see a two of hearts on the river. Big blind checks to me, and I figure that I've got a bet here to win this pot, so I bet out $55, and both the hijack and the big blind fold, so I'm able to get this one through and pick up a nice little pot here. After getting that bluff through, we go card dead for a little while. It's a couple orbits until we look down under the gun at pocket queens. So we raise to 20. Under the gun plus two, a middle position player, both call. The blinds fold. We go to a flop with a pot of $67. And the flop comes king of clubs, eight of clubs, five of clubs. We do have the queen of clubs, but we don't want to blow the pot just to find out someone's holding the ace of clubs. So we check and it checks through. The turn is three of diamonds. This is a pretty good card for us because it doesn't really change anything. If we were ahead, we were still ahead. So we bet out $30 and both players fold. For this hand, we are in middle position and we look down at 10, seven diamonds. When it folds to us, we raise to 20, the hijack calls. And then the small blind decides that's not enough. He makes it 70. I float and so does the hijack. So with 212 in the pot, we go to a flop of ace of hearts, nine of hearts, six of diamonds. 
small blind checks to us. And I start to think either he's afraid of that ace or he's trapping. I decide to bet $80 here to see which scenario is true. The hijack quickly folds. The small blind thinks about it for a couple seconds and then just shrugs and gives up and tosses cards into the muck. So he, he either decided that I had an ace since I flatted his three bet or he had something pretty weak like pocket tens, pocket sevens, pocket eights that just felt they couldn't continue. So we're able to get this one through. For this next hand, we looked down at two black sevens. We were in middle position, under the gun limps, under the gun plus two makes it 20. We think about three betting, but we just decide to call. And low jack also calls. And it comes back to the blinds, they fold, and the under the gun makes the completion. So we got 80 bucks going into the pot, going to a flop of six of clubs, four of clubs, six of diamonds. So it checks to me, I think I'm probably best here, but I want to hedge my bets on the flush draw, so I check as well, and it checks through. Three of hearts comes in the turn, and under the gun, plus two, the original, original aggressor, bets $30. I think that I'm still good here, so I make the call, low jack and under the gun, fold. Two of clubs in the river, under the gun, plus two checks. So at this point, I'm pretty sure that I have him beat. So I bet $100 trying to get a crying call from ace high, things like that. And to my surprise, under the gun plus two calls with the second nuts. No raise, no lead out on the river, just check call. Kind of odd, I guess there was a paired board, but with all those low cards, unless I exactly had pocket sixes or pocket fours, odds are he was good there. But I got away with the minimum, I guess, trying to steal it on the end. Our next hand of note, we look down at the beautiful pocket kings. We are in the hijack, and the middle position and middle position plus two, both limp. I make it 25. And that deters absolutely no one as small blind, big blind, middle position one, and middle position two all call. So we go to a flop with $125 in the pot of ace of spades, nine of spades, four of spades. Ah, oh, crap. This is probably the worst flop I can get here. There's an ace. It's a monotone board. Everything that could be there that beats me is there. So it checks to me, and I check. Queen of hearts comes in the turn. I said, okay, maybe I can take a stab at this. Let's see if anybody has an ace or a spade that they want to call with. So when it checks to me, I bet 75, and luckily everyone folds. We take it down. The next interesting hand we come across, we look down in the small blind at ace of hearts, queen of diamonds. Under the gun limper, and it goes around to the hijack, who raises to 25. I could raise here, three bet but I decided to just flat. The limper comes along, so with 82 in the pot, we see a flop of 685 rainbow. So with nothing really happening on this board, I decide to lead out for 35. Under the gun folds, but hijack decides to come along. So with 152 in the pot, we see a four spades. Doesn't help us in any way, but we took the betting lead, we didn't get raised, so we bet again for 65 and hijack thinks about it and makes the call. Two of diamonds comes on the river, so at this point I really have to just either shut down or three barrel, and I decide why not go for it. I bet $85, hijack goes into the tank, thinks about it for a little while, and I'm just sitting hoping he folds, and he does exactly what I want to do. He folds kings face up. He must have just been convinced that I flopped something like two pair a set and just talked himself into a fold here. I don't know how. I couldn't have folded that hand, but thankfully I got the right guy at the right time to fold. A couple of hands later, we look down in middle position at ace queen again. It folds to us, so we make it 25 to go. The button and the big blind both call. 
So with 77 in the pot, we go to a flop of Queen of Spades, Jack of Spades, Seven of Diamonds. Big blind checks. I bet 25 again. Both the button and the big blind call. So with 152 in the pot, Jack of Clubs comes off. Small blind checks. I think about betting again, but I really think I'm only going to get called by a jack here. So I check and the button bets $65. The big blind calls. I think about it for a little bit and I think it's just too small of a bet to, to lay this down. So I call. So with 352 in the pot, we go to a river, which is the three of diamonds, which really doesn't change anything. If I was good, I'm still good. If I was beat, I'm still beat. Checks to me. And I figure there's no value in betting here because I'm only getting called by a jack. So I check and surprisingly the button also checks and turns over jack nine of offsuit. I don't know why he was afraid to go for value there, but you know, luckily he did because I got to see showdown with putting no additional money in when I felt I was probably behind anyway. So sometimes that's the way it goes. The next hand of note that we look down at is ace five off suit. We are in the cutoff. There's two limpers to us. We make it 15, both the under the gun limper and the hijack call. So with $52 in the pot, we see a flop of ace three, four rainbow checks to me. I think I'm good here. So I bet $20. The one limper under the gun folds and the hijack comes along. So with $92 in the pot, six of clubs on the turn. Now I'm open-ended. I figure I'm probably good with the ace. Checks to me, I bet $30. Hijack thinks about it for a minute, calls. So with 152 in the pot, we see two of diamonds on the river. Binked it, big time. Then, to our surprise, the hijack donk leads for 50 bucks. And this is a player who's a regular here at Parks. He's quite a character. He's a YouTube rapper. Nice enough guy, but he's very quirky. Sometimes he slows down the game, but lately he's been pretty good about it. So I Hollywood a little bit and raise the 250. So then he goes into the tank and he starts trying to probe me. And at one point he says, do you have a five? And I say, do I need a five? And as soon as I say that, he insta calls. And I turn over the ace five and he's a good sport. He shows ace of diamonds, two of hearts for the river two pair. Our last hand of note for the night, we look down in the hijack at pocket sixes. It limps to us, we limp, then the button makes it $20 to go. Small blind, under the gun, under the gun plus two, and I all call. So with $125 in the pot, we go to a flop of jack, eight, four with two spades. It checks to me, and I bet out $55, trying to steal. The button folds, but the small blind calls, and everybody else folds. So I think I'm probably in a bad spot here with 235 in the pot until Bink City on the turn, six of clubs. Small blind checks to me, and I'm hoping that he's in the higher end of his range, so I bet out 125. He doesn't think very long before calling. So with 485 in the pot, three of hearts comes on the river, small blind checks to me, I put him all in for his last $178. He thinks about it for a minute, decides it's worth the call, and he shows Queen Jack of Clubs. I give him the bad news by showing him my turn set, and we scoop a $841 pot here to end our night. Play a couple more hands after this, but we were pretty much done at this point. It was getting late, so we racked up and headed to the cage. All right, punks. So for this session, we were in 4,000. We were out for 1224. So that makes us 224 to the upside. Not a bad night, not a great night, but we were able to claw it back there at the end with a couple good hands. 
make sure to hit that like and subscribe button that way you're alerted when new videos do come off and hopefully it won't be too long till the next one i've got a couple sessions uh in the can that i'm starting to edit so hopefully i'll be able to get those out there for you pretty soon until next time run it up the punks Let's go.